Hello and welcome to this new video. My name is Mr. Gray and I'll be taking you through some entertainment. In today's video, using Universe Sandbox, we will be terraforming the planet Venus into a habitable planet and see life growing into that. So, let's get started. Let's head straight to Venus. Um, turn the flashlight on. There are a few things we need to know about Venus before we start terraforming it. And that's... Once we look at Venus, um, you know, we might think this is a gas planet, but actually it's not. It's a rocky planet. The thing is, Venus has a very, very thick atmosphere, and which keeps it like in this shape. Um, scientists use, think Venus used to be habitable in the past, but something happened that gave it this thick atmosphere, which makes it the hottest planet in our solar system. It has an average temperature on the surface, 425 uh, uh, Celsius, uh, which is really crazy. That's like uh, double uh, the, the highest temperature in your oven. You know, the oven where you bake your pizza home that's almost almost double the temperature that's really really crazy everything would melt on the surface um, and if we look at the atmosphere we're gonna see that it has four, uh, 94.6 times the earth atmosphere mass that is crazy that is really really crazy we're gonna need to change that this is the only thing again we're gonna change manually Everything else we will change using the tools. Uh, there are, however, a uh, few problems. One of the biggest problems we're facing here is the rotational period. Now, if we look at the rotational period and the orbital period, let's uh, change that uh, into days. So, orbital period basically means the uh, time the planet needs to make an like uh, to, to, to make and uh, to orbit the sun an entire uh, time that's 225 days so it's like one year on venus is 225 earth days but one day on the planet it's 243 days which makes the day longer than the year on the planet and that's crazy under these circumstances that means we're gonna need to spend half that period uh, in sunlight and the other half it will be just night and dark and definitely no vegetations can develop under these circumstances we're gonna need to make the planet rotate faster one more thing we need to know uh, Venus rotates clockwise now all the planets in the solar system rotate uh, counterclockwise which that means uh, like uh, on every planet the sun rises uh, from the east but not on venus the sun rises from the west that is not a problem i can't imagine myself living on a planet where the sun rises from west that is not the issue the issue is the day is hell long first thing first let's change the atmosphere uh, Venus is almost as big as Earth, so we're gonna give it one Earth atmosphere mass. And straight away we will be seeing the planet. It is a beautiful planet actually, and it shouldn't be really difficult to, uh, you know, blow life into that planet. However, how am I going to make the planet rotate faster? To make the planet rotate faster, we're gonna need to launch uh, an asteroid and make an impact. So, but it is really important where to launch this asteroid. So if we hit the asteroid uh, here, like in this area, probably the uh, planet will stop rotating or maybe will rotate counterclockwise. We do not want that. We just wanted to increase the rotational period. So we're going to hit it here because if I speed the time a little bit, uh, see the direction the planet is going on. We're gonna need to hit that here. Now, let's hit Venus with some asteroid. All right, I'm gonna pause time, go closer, aim here, and just add a random asteroid. All right, now this asteroid is quite small. It looks big, but it will barely make an effect. One very important thing, let's first like, oh, what am I doing? Okay, back to the asteroids, all right. Now let's give this asteroid 
a bigger mess like it, it should be give, yeah, big enough to make a big effect i think this is all right i think this should be good compared to the planet that's huge but it's really important for us we do not want to destroy the planet with this impact we also do not want to knock venus out of its orbit uh, again let's change the properties of this asteroid we are launching um let's see it's it's all ir uh, iron and silicate which is good it doesn't have any liquids or gas that is good we just need a hard rock to hit venus going to motion let's make this asteroid move really fast we have now an asteroid this big uh, going to make an impact with venus basically in this area like the west and it's going 500 km per second that's how fast it is um let's again reduce time we don't want like okay let's start the time and increase it again speed up time gently we want to see a gentle impact that does not knock venus out of its orbit or destroys the planet now we need to, to look at the rotational period basically the rotational period changed from 200 40 something forget the number at first it became 3.07 now the planet has turned into blue because the temperature is going crazy let's hope we did not destroy venus i'm gonna speed up time all right venus did not vanish it's getting colder the day on venus become became one and a half day one and a half earth day which is perfect uh, that was a perfect asteroid let's check one more thing did we knock the planet out of its orbit no still orbiting the sun everything cool there are a lot of fragments which is logical but now let's wait for the planet to cool down all right so uh, let's set time again to normal the planet now it has an average temperature of 42.7 celsius it's good it's actually good but at some side it is really cold and the other side is really hot i think we're gonna need to change the atmosphere again trying to play with that it has now 1.2 uh atmosphere like that's how thick the atmosphere 1.2 of uh, earth atmosphere mass let's set that again back to one all right and let's look at the layers there are three layers that should be good i think let's make that four just try to keep the temperature from dropping or going higher speed up time and let's check the changes planet is spinning temperature is still dropping we're gonna need to make sure it doesn't drop that much okay i think i think we kept that temperature it's like going colder and again hotter no it's dropping again it's still dropping let's do five layers maybe that would help okay it's increasing again let's see where will it stop all right um at highest 38.2 lowest minus 102 that's really cold the average is 7.5 celsius we're gonna stick to that for now we will see if we will need to change that again now we're gonna add some water and we do not want the planet to be drowning with water speed up time a little bit all right let's go and set the liquids just like what we did with mars if you watched mars okay hell no that is a lot of water okay 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 we're gonna need to chill a little bit here let's reduce the uh, amount of water going onto the planet okay settle liquids settle liquids all right we have one huge ocean let's let's hide the atmosphere in the uh, visuals just to see okay that looks like handmade planet <laughs> it looks like a handmade planet but this is what we came up with so i think it should be fine at some sign it has only ocean i don't really like how that looks but i think it should be fine let's go to the composition and check the life likelihood there is 33.7 percent chance that venus is supporting life 
let's turn the vegetations on everything turns green we did perfect so far and now back to the moment of truth did we actually uh, terraform venus how do i know that by turning let's put the atmosphere back and let's see are we gonna see city lights yes we are officially we have to reform venus into a habitable planet we made the planet uh, looks like 96.7% uh, looks like Earth and has 33.6% chance to support life. Um, I, 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 I like the results. We're gonna stick to that. Now we have reached the uh, part of the video where I unleash again my imagination. So first thing first, we're gonna work on the atmosphere. I hope you guys don't, you don't bother that I'm really messing with these planets just like what I did with Mars but that is going to happen to each planet I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna terraform I'm really sorry I love doing that okay let's give it it has a white atmosphere let's give it some kind of I don't know blue at uh, well not blue hell no uh, some red atmosphere because basically it's closer to, to the sun uh, blue I think looks alright not quite sure or do we do yellow all right let's do yellow okay the atmosphere is yellow now let's change the color of the liquids uh, definitely the water is not does not look like uh, on our planet it's blue I think we're gonna do blue but it's like much brighter it's bright blue see we might be getting back to that anyway let's do now the vegetations what do people on planet venus plant on their planet they definitely don't do anything green green so maybe they do i don't know um some kind of oh jesus this looks familiar I know, where did I see that before? Uh, purple? Is that purple? Um, not quite sure. Yeah, let's, let's, let's stick to that. And... Let's change the color of the city lights. And we will see the result at the end together. So they definitely do not use golden lights like we do on our planet Earth. They do. Okay, they use that that color. Let's turn back the atmosphere. Okay, the atmosphere. I, I don't like the yellow. I think we're gonna do red. Looks much better. And regarding the vegetations. Let's do something brighter. Let's do, I don't know, pink. Let's try to do pink. Yeah. Okay. I don't like the liquids again. Uh, what's the what's the color of 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 the water on that planet? No, it's not red. Red is for evil planets. Venus is not evil. Orange. I think that's orange, yeah. Jesus, who wants to swim there? Definitely not me. Uh, yeah, we will stick to that. So, this is Venus. After terraforming it into uh, whatever whatever th this is. But I think I like... Like, uh, you know what? 80% I like the result. But we just don't want this video to go forever. I can't do that forever. We're gonna stick to that. This was the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It's super new and I'm willing really to keep on going with that channel. So, thanks for watching and I will be seeing you in future videos.